Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, Shopify debut team tutorial in 2019 and in this part we're gonna learn about this. Okay so in this uh, Shopify debut team tutorial part number five we're gonna learn how we can add some products to our Shopify store. All right I have also added two more collections. So to add products just go to your backend go to products and click on add product and now we can add a title so this is just an example product so I'm just gonna add an example title and then I'm gonna add some uh, Example text. All right, so now you can uh, customize this text. So you got uh, all of these settings. So if you want, you can add a heading. Okay. So just uh, highlight the text, click on formatting and choose heading 1, like that. And then you can uh, make this bold, you can make it italic, do an uh, underline, you can create a bullet list, let's click on this one. Like that. You can also do a numbered list. All right. You can also change these colors. Let's click on color, change it to maybe red. We can align this text to left align, center or right like that and we can also create a link click on insert link add the URL choose to open in a new window or the same window All right. So if this is to another website, I would recommend you to do a new window or if it's on the same website, you can do the same window. All right. So I'm going to choose a new window. You can also add a link title. Then click on insert link. All right, and if you want, you can add a table, insert table, add some information like that. You can add another table, okay? So just play around, and if you want, you can add an image. Just add a marker where you want to have the image. Just click on image. So now we can click on upload image or choose one of these. So let's say I want to have this one. Add image alt text. You can choose the size. So let's say I want to have large. Click on insert image. Now you have the image on this product page. Okay. You can also add a video. So just add the marker where you want to have the video. Click on insert video. So insert the video by pasting the embed snippet in the box below. 
So if you have a video on your YouTube channel or something like that, just go to the video, click on share, click on embed. If you want, you can also change these settings. And also read about the YouTube API terms of service, then click on copy, go back and paste it right here. Click on insert video. And now you can have a video about this product. You can also change the size of the video. Just click on show HTML, find the video, So right here you can change the width and height. So let's say I want to have uh, 360 and maybe 215. Then go back, click on show editor. And now the video is smaller, all right? You can, if you click right here and click on alignment, you can change this to center, all right? Okay, so you can just play around and when you are satisfied, you can go down and add some images. Click on upload image. Choose the image, click on open. You can also add uh, an alt text. It's great for SEO. Like that, click on done. You can add more images if you like, upload. like that. You can also switch these places like that. All right. Okay, so then we have pricing. So you can add a price. So let's say I want to sell this for $50 and maybe you have a compare price of $70. Then you got cost per item. That means how much this uh, shoe costs you to buy in from manufacturer or where you buy the product. All right. So let's say I bought this for $10 and then we have charge taxes on this product. So you need to check uh, how you will charge taxes on your products if you want to have on top of this price or not. Then we got the SKU stock keeping unit. So this is a unique number for this product. So let's say I want to name this like that so you know which product you are selling. So this is a great way to track your products in your stock. And if you want to read more about this, I will leave a link below to product details on Shopify, where you can see about SKU, stock keeping unit. So the code that identifies the product within your business for effective tracking and sales reporting. So each SKU needs to be unique. And also then you have a barcode, you can just read about it. So barcode, barcodes are typically used for resellers. All right, so if you're not a reseller, you don't need to fill that out. And inventory policy. So if you have a stock with maybe 100 shoes of this product, you're gonna use uh, Shopify tracks this product inventory and you're just gonna add 100 like that. And then you have allow customers to purchase this product when out of stock. So if you want customers to be able to buy this product, even if you don't have it in stock, you can check this one. But I will not check this one. Then we got the shipping. This is a physical product. You can just add weight. So you got the LB, OS, kilograms and grams. Then you can choose custom information. So this is used by borders officers to calculate duties when shipping internationally, shown on custom forms you print during fulfillment. Okay, so in most cases where the product is manufactured. So let's say I buy this from China. All right, and then we got HS. You can read about it right here. HS tariff code. So this is if you want to ship the product internationally with Shopify shipping then enter the harmonized system tariff code. So if you're gonna ship uh, internationally, you can read about it right here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that blank. Fulfillment service, Shopify. 
uh, variant if you want to have different colors, different sizes and things like that. So we can just add a variant. We can add size maybe 11 and separate with a comma. Twelve, thirteen, okay, and then we can add some colors. Then click on Add another option, color, blue, red, like that. We can also change the price. So let's say maybe the size twelve cost fifty-five dollars, and the size thirteen cost. $60 like that so then we can change inventory so let's say maybe you have 20 of 11 blue you have uh, 30 of 11 red 10 50 60 20 okay and then we got the search engine listing preview, so you can just edit this if you want or leave it as it is. Just click on edit website SEO, change title, change meta description and URL handle. All right. After that, we can go up to product type. So this is a category type. So this is running shoes. Like that, click on add. Then we got vendor, so this is often the manufacturer. Then we got collections, so we're gonna add this to running shoes. And we're also gonna add this to the home page. Okay, then if you want, you can add tags. So let's say I want to have this as a running shoes tag. Like that. You can delete this if you want. You can add more tags. And if you don't want to publish this right now, you can add a publish date. So, date and time. All right. So, I'm going to publish this right now. Okay. So, that's it. When you're satisfied, just click on save. And let's go and have a look. Click on view. All right, so now we got the image, we got the other image, we got the title, we got the compare price. So now it's the sale, tax included. We got sizes with the different price. And we got the colors. We can add a cart, we can buy with PayPal. And then we got the information and we got the video. Okay. You can share this with Facebook, uh, Twitter and Pinterest. Okay everyone, so this is how you can add products to your Shopify store. Let's go to part number 6. Okay everyone, so this is the end of this part. You can leave a comment below if you need help. Alright, so let's go to the next part. Just click on this image right here. Okay, so see you there.